There it is. <sighs> this is a big deal. This is really happening. I can't believe I'm doing Epic next year. <laughs> Prologue. A view to thrill. The 2023 Absa Cape Epic Prologue plays out once more on the trails of Mirandar Wine Estate with a backdrop of Table Mountain and Robin Island. But teams tackling the prologue will have little opportunity to enjoy the views <laughs> as climbs and descents blend mercilessly into one limit testing effort that sets the scene for the week of racing to come. Okay, I've actually never done it at Mirandol before, so this will be awesome. And of course it starts with a climb. <laughs> Great. Stage one, purgatory. Oh, Hermanus, Stage yay! History, Hermanus and its Himmel and Arda trails have mm -hmm. been a long time favorite of the Absa k -Ben. Loose limestone surfaces, uh -huh. limit testing single tracks. Tires, tires, tires. They if the mercury begins to rise. Oh. Oh, wow. We stay in Hermanus the whole day. Nice. Nice. Okay, good. So we only, yeah. I like that. Stage two, where the winds blow. Predefined Still as a day it. for captivating racing across categories. Stage 2 ventures deep into territories yet to be explored by the untamed African mountain bike race. Cuses. The flat opening and closing kilometers of the race allow for the lion's share of the demands to mm. happen on the northern sides of the Clay Riffia Lagoon. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! I love that. Look at that. Skin and bones, all right. Hole in the wall. <laughs> Stage three, new frontiers. Oh, yay. The first transition stage of 2023 from Hermanus to Oak Valley Estate mm -hmm. traverses feral lands nestled within pockets of manicured agriculture. Oh, it's gonna be the gorgeous. The stage is defined by rugged trails through wild fake boss, which will sap and strain even the most prepared. It's 2,600 meters of climbing. What? <laughs> with no way. Continuing up the wooden cliff trails. Gotta get skinny. You climb onto the Elgin Plateau. Oh, Oak Valley is gorgeous. What a what a nice transition stage, really. I like the Toyota top. Woo! And then ending in Port Luva, nice. Stage four, captives of Kronos. Time, the old saying goes, waits for no man, mm -hmm. especially when racing against the clock. Stage 4's Oak Valley and Paul Kruger based time trial is an <gasps> onslaught of a time trial! Oh, yay! The partnerships. <laughs> the test tiring minds yes! I love time trials. Time trial in mountain bike stage <laughs> races. <laughs> oh, cool, 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 cool. Super cool. That was so fun. That was a 2019, the last time I did that. That, oh, this is so fun. That's a cool day. Thank you, Epic. <laughs> Stage five, the Emerald Queen. Stage five begins in the shadow of the Absa Cape Epic's most famed climb, Krunlandberg. Oh, and wow. This year, Ouch. The snow skirting the base. <laughs> the onslaught of the imposing mm -hmm. peak begins in the east and is an opportunity for pure climbers to distance their rivals. Okay, we really got to get skinny. Subject, many may be lulled into believing the rest of the stage is easy. 
No. It's not. Okay. We're running. The first and only sliver of mercy is offered in the shade of Lawrenceford's River Trail mm. within the closing kilometers. It's a tough day. That's a tough day. But I've done it before. Or something like that. Nice. Amazing. Ouch. That, that's a lot of mountains. Oh, but it's downhill the whole second half. We fine. We fine. Stage six, the spear. Oh. In 2022, merely the surface of Lawrenceford Wine Estates trail offering True. was scraped. 2023 dives into the details with icons like Lawrenceford Ultimate and the remains of South Africa's Ew. first foray into trail building included. The day is defined by two loops, mm. both of which showcase a plethora of single tracks that double back. Climb, descend, and scout the hillsides within the estate's vast borders. Stage six's spear like profile is sure to write itself into lore Yo. and into legend. Nice, those are cool trails. Those are really cool trails. Oh, what an amazing day! What an amazing day! Wow, stage seven. What? That's perfect. The rite of passage that the trail to Valdivie has become up the ante in 2023 as the stage delivers one of the toughest grand finales in Absa Cape epic history. On the lawns of the famed estate, the rawest emotions Aww. will be on display as dreams are realized, finisher medals are awarded, and the heroes of the untamed yes. are honored. That's also a cool finish. Ooh, ouch. It's a hard finish. Mmm, my legs are gonna feel so good on that stage. <laughs> Eight days, 658 kilometers. 15,775 meters of climbing. This is the Untamed African Mountain Bike Race. This is the Absa Cape Epic. I have tears. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, it's going to be such a cool race. Wow. So I think um, having watched this now, I am so excited um 2019 there is quite a bit of 2019 in it Grunlandberg was yo that was a breaker of a climb i remember it was cold and it was cloudy you couldn't even see on the way down um and it's it's a proper challenge of a climb that one but it really it's one of those climbs and there's actually a couple in here now that that make the race so they they are iconic climbs um the locations are they are so cool. I mean, Hermanus has so much to offer and we see it every year in Wines to Wales, but now to actually make it into an epic stage is, I, I knew it has it. So, I mean, this is going to be amazing. Um, and then I think, gosh, so Oak Valley, Paul Kluver, that kind of riding. I mean, again, in 2019, when we had, uh, we had the time trial, Oh, it's hard. I mean, you're going as hard as you can and it's punchy and twisty and so, so much single track. But I, I actually really liked it because it gives your legs a small break <laughs> and it, it breaks up the eight days quite nicely. So that's going to be amazing. Um, it's really important to have, I think for this particular epic and a partner who who rides at a similar level to you in terms of technicality. Um, you want to be able to flow through the trails together. And saying that, I mean, the more the more single track you have on stages, um, the more communication matters. Because if anything happens, you don't want your partner to be way behind you or you to be way behind them and yelling, I have a flat or there's a mechanical or I crashed. And then, you know, they ride all the way down the hill and you don't see them. So, you know, in stage racing and in Epic in particular, um, over the years, something that I've really learned to value is amazing, strong communication and clear, obviously clear communication. Um, 
Right. So we got that. Then I'm glad we've got the portage section back in. I remember running down that. Um, we had actually caught a team that had a mechanical on that stage. And it, it's actually the Grunlandberg stage too. At that particular stage, I really enjoy that because just because you've made it over the mountain doesn't mean that the rest of the day is easy. Um, by no means is it easy. It's a very difficult, rocky descent. A lot of uh, elements beating on the body. And the run, uh, yes, it's downhill, but watch those ankles. So <laughs> if you have an opportunity to get a tiny bit of running in, um, especially downstairs, ironically, you Joburg people, we have Northcliffe. <laughs> Go run down it. Um, it would help just to to loosen up the legs so that when you do jump back on the bike, you don't instantly cramp. Um, sure. And then, of course, so Lawrenceford, those trails have been developed now for the last couple of years and a lot have a lot of work has been put into it. And um, I think the first thing people think about when they think about Lawrenceford is, wow, like the best single track that the whole Western Cape has to offer. There are huge um, berm style trails. You can see the different styles in trail builders actually comes out, whether there's wooden features or really steep, sharp turns, jumps, jumps everywhere. Um, but something to watch out for too is Lawrenceford, in order to get to those single track sections, you actually have to climb up those huge mountains to get up there. So even though this, this epic has a lot of single track in it, don't forget to work hard on your consistent climbing. Um, I feel like that's something I, that's something I do all the time. I only ever do it these days just because of how advantageous it can be um, if you can climb correctly and you can climb at a good pace for a long time. Those out there for a while, uh, remember that these stages are quite exposed. Yes, we have a couple of forest sections, but overall, this is going to be warm. Um, especially as we get out a little bit into the more bare and rugged sections. So I personally will be racing uh, with my u -sweat pack. I found it incredibly helpful and not just helpful for the heat, but also helpful in the single track. I need to be able to constantly be sipping on fluid and I can actually do that while riding through the single track. So I find that comfort level was really awesome there. Gosh, what else can I think about? I mean, I can't believe I cried at the end of the video. <laughs> but I think um, it just shows how much this race means to me. Having raced abroad now and experiencing mountain bike stage races in South Africa, I can confirm that South Africa has the best stage races in the world. Um, the Epic Series just takes it up a, a notch. And the Cape Epic is the one to be at. And this particular one, I think, shows the best of the Western Cape. Um, Hermanus is stunning. Maybe we'll see some whales. Who knows? Uh, Lawrenceford is, oh, it's so fun. It's like a bike park on steroids. And Oak Valley is like the heart of, I guess, why I ride. <laughs> so this is great. I, I'm really, really excited. Um, See you next year. <laughs>